Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah Allah family Welcome to the channel You beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys We'll be reacting to the ex-Malaysian uh, uh, president And uh, him uh, speaking about uh, anti-Semitism uh, uh, This video was uh, suggested by Amirul uh, Azim Termak I say thank you very much for your uh, suggestion The video is by the star And the link is in the description In case you guys wanted to check it out So without uh, further ado uh, Let's get started with this video guys specific reference to the ban that you've imposed on Israeli swimmers taking part in the world's power swimming championships. Do you think it's legitimate to penalize so in, uh, Oxford. citizens who may also be critical of the regime in this way? Well, many countries today are seeing outsiders coming to their country and not very happy about it. They are overthrowing their governments because their government allowed immigrants to come in. So a country has a right to keep its borders close to certain people. That's why borders are there. But uh, in Malaysia, we, uh, we have had no diplomatic relation with Israel at all. And we don't think that, uh, what, uh, that they should come to our country because uh, we have no relations with them. And we feel that they were doing a lot of wrong things but getting away with it because nobody dares to say anything. He's a man. Them speaking the truth but i suppose my question was you may think that true of the israeli state and the government of israel but is it fair to penalize the individual israeli citizens from taking part in this championship well it is not fair to call me uh, anti anti-semitic uh, they should call other people anti-semitic i'm not anti-semitic the arabs are all semitic people <laughs> Well, I did, want, I did want to come on to that point. <laughs> You've previously called and defended yourself in calling uh, the Jewish people hooked nose in saying that they have an instinctive sense of money. Statements like that are anti-Semitic. But my question is, why do you oppose the actions of the Israeli they government? They always put that anti-Semitic course on. Of those actions themselves but with racist, anti-Semitic remarks like those targeted at the Jewish people. And this is another Jewish brother. This is actually yeah, the Zionist. This. We talk about freedom of speech, and yet you cannot say anything against Israel, against the Jews. Why is that true? <laughs> if we are free... Double standards, that's right, why. <laughs> we can say that we are something that will be regarded as anti-Semitic by, by, the, uh, by the Jews. That is their right to hold such opinion of me. This is my right to tell them also that they have been doing a lot of wrong things. Exactly. That, that, in fact, wasn't Speaking wasn't the, the point truth. Of the, <laughs> the, the point of the Please. question was these are remarks targeted at individual Jews, not the Israeli government. So why don't you oppose the Israeli government's actions directly instead of uh, att attacking with these remarks the Jewish people themselves? Well, it seems that most of them support the stand taken by Netanyahu against exactly. the Arabs. Uh, so when I say uh, only the uh, Zionists, people do not understand. What they do understand is uh, the word Yahudi or Jews. That is what they understand. If I take action against uh, uh, the, this, uh, this team, cricket team, uh, it's not wrong because, uh, for example, uh, Europe uh, wants to declare palm oil as poisonous. Why do you what? hurt the poor farmer in Malaysia? Because you, you dislike the government. I think, I think the essence of the question was, was different, and I'll, and I'll return to it again. It's it exactly was, the same. It was the, Double standards. You can criticize the actions <laughs> of the Israeli government without criticizing, in this kind of anti-Semitic way, the Jewish people themselves. And <laughs> do you regret targeting the Jewish people themselves, not the Israeli government, in these cases? Well, we can't do very much about the Israeli government. They are very powerful. So we don't say anything about the Israeli government. But we don't have to show friendship towards them. If they want to come to our country, we have a, a borders which we got to allow only people whom we like to come to Malaysia. But the people who have done a lot of wrong things, if we consider them as uh, 
uh, unfit to visit Malaysia, that is our right. For sure. Yeah, it is the right. Then, even if exactly. what you believe you are saying to be true, why do you think these reactionary racist politics is the way to finding a road to, this two, to the two-state solution that you so desire? How does that? So you, your policy is in support of the two-state solution, but why do you think these kind of remarks help achieve that goal instead of finding some kind of constructive way of building that solution? I don't know about a constructive way. This is a government that doesn't care about the opinions of others. That's why they keep on committing war crimes all the time. So what I say is what I have a right to say. He's a man. But if they don't like Speaking it... Speaking the they, truth. They can say they don't like it. I don't care. Say straightforward. But it's, with all due respect, it's not about caring. It's about creating a climate of politics that isn't anti-Semitic or racist. And it's not anti-Semitic, he just told you. They commit crimes, genocide. Or hinder the process what do you not understand? A solution. Well, it's being a solution. A solution should be, uh, should go down to finding out the reasons for the, be for the behavior of the Jews and of the Arabs. This did not happen 70 years ago, did not happen until you create the state of Israel. Exactly. Took Arab land and gave to Israel, and the Arabs were expelled from Palestine. From their own land, right? their own home. But the people supported. I am surprised that re reasonable Democrats keep on supporting the act of seizure of foreign land to create a nation for, some, for somebody. Exactly. Uh, I think at that point it would be a good time to open up the floor to audience questions. <laughs> That's where he leaves. <laughs> good time to open up to the questions. Uh, I'll take the hand at the very far back. Uh, thank you, uh, Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamed. Um, I'm from Australia. My question is, um, how do you see Australia and Malaysia cooperating in the future uh, on the bilateral and the multilateral level? Well, we consider Australia as a friendly country. Of course, uh, like all countries, sometimes they say things which are not palatable to us, and sometimes we say things which are not palatable to them. I mean, you, while you are friends, sometimes you have a need to tell a friend, a friend that you have done something wrong. If you tolerate everything that somebody does because he is a friend, then you are no friend. So we tell Australia that uh, because they de decided to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of, uh, of Israel, that will only uh, cause a lot of people to get very angry, and some of them might become terrorists because of that. That's what I told the, the Prime Minister. It's up to him to, to do what he likes, of course. Uh, he has a right, but uh, what, what uh, I think will happen is that you are you are causing a lot of people to feel very angry and they are frustrated and when they cannot do anything they go and blow themselves up in your country that's what will happen wow uh yeah that was just you know some of my thoughts about uh, this and i hope you guys uh, enjoyed it if you did and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and as always guys thank you very much for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care